Oh, hello! Welcome back to my Chanel. In my last Shein haul video, I asked if you guys would like to see me style something six different ways, so that is what we're doing in today's video. We are going to be styling this dress. And this video is sponsored, though not by Shein. Our sponsor today is G Thick Jewelry. They make stainless steel jewelry that appeals to the alternative sensibilities. They make rings, pendants, bracelets, earrings. They also sent me four pieces to share with you as well. So first up are the Jack-O-Lantern Sterling Silver Stud Earrings. These are absolutely adorable. I love the little eyes. They remind me of lightning bolts, which makes me think of Harry Potter. Next are the Scary Skeleton Alloy Earrings. These are so much fun. I love how much movement they have. Who doesn't want a pair of dancing skeletons hanging from their ears? Next are the Skull Head Sterling Silver Earrings. These are so tiny and adorable. I love them so much. Look at the size of the skulls. And for being so tiny, the skulls have a lot of detail. And last but not least, we have the Inverted Cross Sterling Silver Earrings. These are awesome. So simple, but they go with just about everything. And I love how lightweight these are. These are not heavy at all. So if you would like to shop with them, they gave me a discount code for you, which is Heather20, and that gets you 20% off their website. And I'll leave the coupon code as well as links to all the jewelry shown down below in the description box. So thank you so much Gthick for sponsoring this video. Love your jewelry and without further ado, let's get on to the styling. So for this first outfit, you know I can't help myself. I love my baby pink. So I had to include this huge baby pink coat from Shein. And as a base, I actually have this really cute black dress underneath just to make it a little more modest because the spiderweb dress is completely sheer. And I believe I got this dress from Romway, which is basically Shein. <laughs> so on top of that, we have this fabulous spiderweb dress. And then on top of that, as I mentioned, we have my beautiful big pink fluffy coat from Shein. This keeps me so warm and toasty. I love it for the winter time and it makes you look very fancy as well. And underneath that I have some fishnets, which I probably got from Shein as well. And then these shoes are my absolute favorite. They have cobwebs all over them, so I thought they would match perfectly with this dress. These amazing boots are from House of Widow. I am just in love with all the white spiderweb stitching all over them and the dangling spiders and how chunky they are. They're actually quite comfortable. And then for accessories, on top I have my Creepsville 666 Silver Skulls necklace. I love this necklace. I also have it in black. It's the perfect statement necklace and I wish I had it in more colors. I would love to have a purple and a red one as well. And then paired with that I also have this Death's Head moth which I got from AliExpress. I love layering necklaces and I thought these two looked really Really good together. And then finally on my ears I have these enormous skull earrings. These are amazing. I found these at Spencer's and they are so cool. They are definitely one of the biggest statement earrings that I own and I just love how they look. They make me think of the Punisher. I think this is probably my favorite outfit from the whole lookbook. I feel like this is very new goth if I had to pick a style. I had to add a corset in here somewhere so this corset is amazing. It has buckles up the front as well as a zipper. Unfortunately I don't know where where it's from. My boyfriend got it for me as a gift a couple years ago, but I love the glossy black trim and the pieces that go all the way up the sides. On top of the dress, I'm wearing this beautiful black kimono, which I probably got from either Shein or Dressily. When I was putting this outfit together, I wasn't entirely sure if this would go because I was worried that the patterns of the spiderweb would clash with the patterns of the kimono, but I think it actually works fairly well. It's probably because the kimono is all solid black. If it were different colors, I don't think it would look as good. And then paired with that, I have my favorite felt hat from Forever 21 and one of my favorite pairs of shoes ever, these thigh-high camel boots from Demonia. These are probably the biggest platform shoes that I own. They are super high, very chunky, but surprisingly easy to walk in. And then for my jewelry, I kept it fairly simple. So I have this big, beautiful Ankh necklace, which I got from Darkling Beloved on Instagram. And then of course I had to match my earrings. So these are some beautiful silver Ankhs as well with a black bead on top of each one. Now, unfortunately the shop that I got these from is closed. It was called Cyclops Carnival, but I'm sure Darkling Beloved makes jewelry that could match this necklace. Next up was a really fun outfit for me. I wanted to add some red and a pop of color. Red is one of my favorite colors aside from black. And I actually found this jacket at Target in the kids section. And it is one of the pieces from the Jojo Siwa collection. So I saw it and immediately loved it, had to try it on, and thankfully it fit me. The sleeves are a little short, but I just roll them up to hide that. But I just love the sequins on this jacket. It is so sparkly and eye-catching. 
I've always gotten compliments whenever I wear this out in public, so I wanted to pair it with this dress. And on my legs, I'm wearing these really cool tights that I believe I either got from Amazon or Shein, and it makes it look like you're wearing a thin pair of black stockings, but these are actually fleece-lined, and they are amazing for the winter. I love pairing these with skirts and dresses because it looks like you're only wearing a thin pair of pantyhose, and people are always like, aren't you cold? <laughs> but I am really toasty in this because the inside is a really thick fleece. Love these stockings. And then on my feet are actually a gift from a subscriber, so thank you so much for sending me these shoes. She had told me that she didn't really get any wear or use out of these, so she wanted to send them to me, so I love them. These are from the brand Vintage, and they are a beautiful red faux leather with laces on the front and some beautiful silver spikes all along the back. And then for my jewelry, I kept it all within the same brand. This is an amazing jewelry set from the brand LY Cryptic on Instagram. I love her style. She makes incredible vampiric jewelry. So this is just a matching necklace and earring set with upside down crosses with absolutely gorgeous red jewels. And it adds even more sparkle and glitz to this outfit. So next, this outfit kind of made me think of Morticia. I wear this skirt whenever I play Morticia in my murder mysteries. So as a base for this outfit, you can see I'm wearing a pentagram bodysuit, which I probably got from AliExpress. And on top of that, I have this really long fishtail skirt, which I found on Amazon years ago. So I kept it pretty simple with this outfit. I'm also wearing this corset belt from Shein, which I just got in my most recent video. It is very stretchy and elastic and I love it. And you can't really see it when my skirt is completely down, but on my feet I am wearing these awesome heelless shoes with spikes all over them. They are the exact same brand as the red shoes. These are also from Vintage. I found these at a Goodwill. It was a very lucky find. And then for accessories, I just have some pentagrams. I have this big beautiful silver pentagram pendant which I got from Darkling Beloved. And then my earrings are also from Darkling Beloved. They are upside down pentagrams with some spikes hanging from them. And you probably can't tell, but one of the spikes is a little shorter than the others. Just before I put these on to film, I accidentally stepped on one of them and broke off the tips of one of the spikes. I was so sad, but hopefully I can glue it back on with some Gorilla Glue or E6000. I always think of Lady Gaga when I see these shoes, because that's the only other person I've really seen wearing things like this. They're very Alexander McQueen. Next up is more of a mermaid, iridescent inspired outfit. I'm just wearing a black strapless bra and a pair of underwear underneath the dress. And then on top of that, I have this gorgeous iridescent harness, which I found from Shein. My purple faux leather jacket is also from Shein. And on my feet, can you guess where these shoes are from? That's right, they're from Shein. <laughs> I have a lot of Shein in my wardrobe. I love the lavender color of this jacket. And then for jewelry, I just kept it really simple with these iridescent crescent moon earrings from Shein. <laughs> I think my favorite part of this outfit is just all the iridescent pieces. The harness looks incredible in sunlight. I couldn't quite capture how beautiful it is here, but there are just so many colors that this harness shows off in sunlight. It really is like a rainbow. And the earrings are made out of the exact same material, so it is perfect. And you guys know I love my crescent moons. And then the shoes really make me feel like a mermaid because they have scales on the heel and around the toe part. And while I love the lace-up aspect of these shoes, they do tend to fall down a lot, so I have to really lace them tightly. So they do tend to leave marks in my skin after a while, but that's the only bad thing. Otherwise, I love these shoes. They're really comfortable, they have a nice chunky heel, and they look fabulous. And last, but certainly not least, I kind of felt like Professor Snape in this outfit. I think it was because of the cape. <laughs> but this beautiful black velvet cape is also from Shein, surprise, surprise. And underneath, we're shown a lot of leg. It's very much like a sexy Professor Snape. <laughs> so I paired some harnesses with the dress this time and this gorgeous underbust white corset, which I got from Dress Lily. My top harness, I believe, is from AliExpress and the bottom one is from Shein. I love that this cape has slits in the side instead of sleeves because that way I can still show off the beautiful sleeves of the spiderweb dress. It's rare that I reach for a white corset, but today it just felt right with this outfit and I was taking a little jump out of my comfort zone with this one, so tell me what you think. Is it too much leg? <laughs> and then on my feet for this outfit are the most incredible sparkly pair of cobweb heels that I own. 
these are so gorgeous i found these at macy's of all places these are from the brand inc the camera really doesn't do them justice they are so sparkly in real life they have beautiful glass crystals all over them and surprisingly for how thin of a stiletto they are they're quite comfortable as well but i love these heels i would wear these every single day and that is it for this shein styling video hope you enjoyed i had a lot of fun coming up with these outfits also now that my job at spirit halloween has ended very sad. I've started a new job, which is streaming on an app called Pococha. My name on there is just like everything else, Vessel of Blood, and I'm going to be doing daily streams, so if you want to come hang out with me, watch me do my makeup, do some karaoke, I would love to have you. I hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!